Shravani. Yes, sir. Um, how are you? I'm great. How about you, sir? I'm doing good. Um, could you please introduce yourself? Yeah, myself, Shravani. I'm from Hyderabad. I pursued my degree in electronics and communication engineering in Sridatta Institute of Engineering and Science in 2019. Okay. So I have an overall experience of 5.5 years in industry, in which 3.9 years as a network engineer and two years, nearly two years as a, a GTAC admin for uh, identity and access management. Okay. So currently I'm working in Tech Mahindra. So what is the difference between major difference between the EBS and EFS? EBS is a elastic block storage and EFS is a, a elastic file storage. Okay. In EBS we can store uh, any type of uh, data uh, volume. Okay. So in EFS we can store files which can be once if we upload the files we can access that files from anywhere okay so that is the main difference okay. in block storage like we can only access uh, using command line or something like that so uh, what is vpc what are the components in vpc uh, vpc is a uh, virtual private cloud uh, which is same as it has like uh, uh, on premises network okay. but it is in cloud it is isolated network in which we can deploy our services. So uh, components of uh, VPC are uh, subnets, uh, routables, internet gateway and um, elastic IP, NAT gateways. Yeah. NSG or security group? Uh, security group NS. Okay. So what is the major difference between the public subnet and private subnet? Uh, public subnet we can uh, access uh, to the internet but private subnet uh, that cannot be accessed uh, through the internet and also in public subnets we deploy our uh, web, ser web services uh, web servers and in uh, private uh, subnets we deploy our database uh, servers okay fine okay so, different between internet gateway and NAT gateway when do you use internet gateway what is the purpose of internet gateway what is the purpose of NAT gateway uh, in internet gateway we use that uh, we connect it to the public subnet uh, I mean uh, to the VPC, okay. that internet gateway is used to connect to the internet outside the network. Yes. So we can access like that through, we can get into the VPC using internet gateway. Okay. And NAT gateway, we attach it to the public subnets and we with that NAT gateway, we uh, private uh, subnets can be accessible through internet, internet. like okay. through a separate connection. So, fine. So <coughs> have you done the first project? Oh uh, yes. So, what are the major issues you have been faced? Uh, like uh, creating in the uh, creating the route tables. Okay. Like uh, majorly, I'll be keep forgetting like first to create the route tables. Okay. I'll be creating the components, but I'll be forgetting to route it. Okay. So, I you yes. Other than other than that, and do you face any issues? No. Okay. So, um, what is IAM? Uh, access management. Okay. What is the major use of that? Uh, in IAM, we can create uh, users, uh, like all users cannot be a root user. So we will create uh, users groups and also uh, we create roles for the so, uh, services. Okay. Um, what is the major difference between policy and role? Like role we can create and we can give access, like role based access control. Like Okay, roles will can be attached to whom and uh, policies can be attached to whom? Uh, roles can be attached to services. And okay, policies yes. uh, also can be attached to services, but there will be limitations like uh, uh, what that role can do. Okay. Or uh, roles can attach it, but basically policies will attach to IAM user. Okay. Role is attached to the AWS services. Okay. To access one service to the other service, we use roles. Okay. To give permission to that service, we use policies. Okay. Uh, for IAM user, right? Um, what is <coughs> CloudWatch? Uh, CloudWatch is a monitoring tool provided by AWS okay. in which we can monitor our uh, CPU, uh, CPU percentage, disk usage and also memory usage. Okay. So we can also set alerts in the CloudWatch based upon the metrics we get. Okay. Uh, what do you mean by metrics? Uh, metrics means uh, usage percentage. like. Uh, is it going high or low? We can set like that. Okay. Um, what is threshold value? Uh, threshold wa value is certain value we give. After reaching the threshold value, we can also set the alert. So it is a limitation rule. 
like we give the value 